Hi, I'm Rob. Hi, I'm Sherry. And this is our cat, Lily. This is Cinder. We've got the truck. We've got the trailer. And we're ready for our RV travel class. Good morning, travel buddies. Today, what's today's adventure? We're going for a ride. We're going for a ride. We don't know exactly where, but it's um, Saturday. And we're going to go from the west side of the Washington to eastern side east side so we have no idea where we're going to end up but we're going to take you along so let's go We just found a little place to pull over, let Cinder run a little bit, a little blocked off dirt road. Pretty back here. And who's that? It's Sherry. Anyway, we're going to do a lot of little stops. We'll kind of show you what it looks like around here. Kind of pretty. Let's go, baby. Eastern Washington. Of course, this time of year in the fall, the apples are really good. Cinder stop. So we stopped at a fruit place, and this is what we got. You got to get these apples and cutlets, which are to die for. And then we got a new one that we never had before, which is fruit chocolate. So they're chocolates with the apples and cutlet kind of insides to them. So pretty good stuff. And of course, they had to get a red delicious apple. And then you got a what? I got a honey crisp. Yeah, so the honey crisp is really tart. In fact, mm. it's like a pickle to me. <laughs> really good. But the problem with red delicious apples is uh, is uh, they're uh, always a year old when you get them in the stores. And they're mushies. But the best place to get a good apple is this year's crop. And get a good red delicious. Nothing like it. So. Anyway, so that was our quick little stop and we got more places to go and we'll talk to you later. outside of town of Itatat? No, Entiat. Uh, which is just above Rocky Ridge Dam. And there's a cool little park here. It has a boat launch. Let me turn around so you can see what's behind me. That's the Columbia River. And 
when there's water and boat launches there's also cinder so we're gonna go check it out and see if uh, we can let cinder get a little wet which is what chocolate labs like to do what you got you got some water how about that Columbia. Not pretty out here. Come on, Cinder. Wow, is it pretty? Good girl. Come here. Come here. Come here. What's this? What's this, Cinder? Cinder. Oh, really? Oh my god! That's my cinder. Okay, now for the ultimate test with cinder. We're on a dock. The question is, will she jump? What's this? Cinder, what's this? You ready? Go get it. Go get it. Will she jump? Get it. You can get it. Oh, oh, oh. I think we found a limitation. Get the stick. Go to get it. <laughs> she went around. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> That's all right. She doesn't have to be a jumping dog. Baby, we are literally alone in this park. I like that. Lonely truck over there. So I run over to the restroom for a minute and come back to the truck and I find somebody getting into the apples and cutlets. Oh my God. So what are the three different flavors? This is the applets. These are the cutlets and these are Cran apples, so cranberry. So apples, apricots, and cranberries. Nice. They're really good too. Alright, well there's another sculpture over here I want to show everybody. So now is that cool or what? This is greeting the morning sun. A neat sculpture or what? What a nice park. This park also has campgrounds and RV spots. So this is an old place we used to go hunting across the river called Brewster. And we used to hunt that place for years, but gotten older. And the, hunter, um, the farmers kind of cut off the land. So that, it's kind of harder to go to those places now. Hi guys, this is Robin Sherry. And uh, we're in the Cascade Loop on the North Cascade Highway. <laughs> Cinder. And we started out to make a movie about just going to eastern Washington, and it's turned out to be a lot more than that. So uh, it's going to be a little longer than we anticipated, but what it does is features the Cascade Loop. Okay, so now we're in uh, Okanagan, and we're going to go over the North Cascade Highway. So what's going to happen this time is you saw us go from Evergreens to High Desert. Now we're going to go from high desert to evergreens again. So it'll be pine trees, and then you'll start seeing the Douglas firs and hemlocks and stuff like that later, and then we'll be in Burlington. So enjoy the ride.
place called Loop Loop. Um, this is actually a place that we used to go hunting. Uh, it's on the Cascade Highway. And uh, there's a big open spot here that we used to park our trailers at with uh, Sherry's folks. And we used to hunt here with our kids. And it's kind of a good place to stop, let Cinder run around. And we'll let you see a little bit of it. We're going to go into the the woods here a little bit so you can see it. So what's been really sad on this trip is uh, a lot of places that we've been going, um, the fires this year were terrible. So a lot of our old hunting areas <laughs> have been burnt down. So uh, it looks like they might have had a little bit of fire around Loop Loop here, but it doesn't seem too devastated compared to some areas. So it's, we haven't been here maybe for 20 years. It's been a long time. <laughs> Something like that. So normally we'd be carrying a rifle and trying to find ourselves the deer. But uh, anyway, so you probably noticed in some of the uh, videos that we were taking on the road, is there's a lot of areas being burnt down that were burnt down or damaged. So anyway, but it's still neat to get down here. So enjoy the trip.
way in the fall. This is outstanding colors. Oh my gosh. I'd rather do this in the fall than the spring, I think. And it's not as crowded. Ms. Shuri brought up something that's kind of important. Is we're talking about how much time. What, what, did you, what were you saying? Well, if you wanted to do the, any of the tours of like Ross Dam or Ross Lake and, or stop and just really enjoy some of the areas, it would be very difficult to do it in two days. Because we've done it in the two days, but it's been um, pretty much stop and go the whole time. Not any time to really kick back and relax. Yeah, I, uh, I have to agree. There's a couple of places where there's some tours, there are some things that we would have liked to you know, spend two or three hours to, uh, to go on some little tours. And it's just not going to happen on a two or three day drive. So if you really, really want to do the Cascade Loop, we highly recommend giving yourself time. Do a little homework first because there's uh, like Winthrop. We just drove right through it. but. That cute town, cute town, very cute town, and uh, that's a place where you want to stop and probably spend an hour or two just going through the gift shops and stuff. So, anyway, I hope our tour of uh, the Cascade Loop was good for you. We only did it in two days, so it was a lot of driving, so you can kind of tell that with the video. And we did, you know. I'll do the best I can here to keep it not a long video, but the colors, the ball colors, wouldn't you agree? It was, it was very pretty. I, I'm really glad we did it, and I'm glad we did it in the fall. Definitely. Alright guys, we're going to call it quits here. Thank you very much for watching RV Travel Quest. I hope you enjoyed our quick tour of the 500 mile Cascade Loop that we just did. And uh, we're tired. It's been a long day. It's already almost 4 o'clock on Sunday. And we still have a couple hours to get home. And we got to stop at a camping world. So, anyway, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye now.